Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kevin at East Cape Skiffs. Behind me, the Evo, the evolution, the involvement. What you see behind me is our new model. We're not gonna give a lot of information because there's a lot out there that we did to make this the best 17 foot skiff out there to date. That's big words, but I promise you, if you're on the fence and you're looking for something better, you owe it to yourself to check it out because it has all the refinements, all the things that everybody has wanted. It was a collaboration of current customers who are guides, hardcore anglers, and future customers that wanted to see things that they couldn't get with the other brand that we applied. And what I mean by other brand, there's a lot of good builders out there, guys, but we don't have blinders on, we don't have earplugs, we listen, we see, and we do. So with that said, 17.9 has a tapering just like our Lossman and Gladesman from way back. It has a tapering design toward the stern. 79 gets smaller as it goes back. It also has, if you see over here, it has knife cut spray rails. Again, if you're off the beach, bigger water, you fish Biscayne, you're out in Boca Grande, you're out in Texas at the jetties, or you wanna run out in open water in Louisiana, so on and so forth, or you're up in the Northeast, you fish for stripers and weak fish. You don't have hole slap from all the boats, but what you get is you get the slap from the spray rails, whether they're bolted on or molded in. But when you take a boat and you give it knife cut, it doesn't make any noise. Then the other thing is all the boats sit level. And the ones that have an aggressive stance, the sides are lower. So what we did is we went from this to that and then a little higher. So it allows you, the angler, if you're fighting a tarpon or a permit, to allow you and your buddy to walk to the back corner of the boat so it doesn't go underwater. We gave it a rounded stern, as rounded as we could possibly go without hindering performance. So when you want to pull backwards or you're posted up or as they call on the hook, you're not getting all the noise from the back end. We gave it a closed build. We gave it a big hatch. By the way, this hatch is cut out. It has a molded bucket or you could cut it out and have more usable storage. Everything on this boat is how you design it to be just like all our East Cape. So your draft, and your performance will be based on your horsepower and your options and your load. This boat is going to Captain Nick Sasick. He's with Flywater Expeditions. Him and Greg Dini are one of the first guys to get the Evo. They've been with us on this, for, working on this design with us for over two years and a few other captains as well. But Nick's boat, small, cut down, center console jump seat with flush mount. He did the sea deck under the gunnel. He has all his rod holders going forward. Remember, you pick the way you want it to be. He has a nice deep cockpit. He wanted his battery tender trolling motor plug here. And again, like all our escapes, we have the offset trolling motor mount. So you can have your cage and platform here, here, and up front. Still have your push pole. He also has a special uh, limited gunmetal gray V Marines. This color, scheme, this color scheme is sick, by the way, guys, with the black and the grays, everything tying together. Going backwards. He has the traditional three door. He had his hook puller on there. So when he's tying tarpon leaders and flies, he also has the big double thick seat cushion. He wants to make sure his clients are happy. It's not all about Ricky Bobby fast. It's about being comfortable in the worst conditions and being dry. That's what this Evo can do. We also took usable space. He has working room right here under the back or to get to his electronics, everything is right there. So if you're a tournament guy, this is your release well, your cooler, your dry storage, your wet storage. If you're the fly hardcore tarpon guy, all your electronics goes in there now because under his console, it's completely clean. He can put a bag in there for stuff he gets readily available, but his maintenance just got a lot better. He doesn't have to deal with the corrosion issues. Then moving forward, or as I say backwards, he has clean dividers in the back. He actually has shelves with drains in it. Deep gutters, by the way, guys. These gutters are deeper than any other boat out there, including some of the ones in the offshore market. Huge live well. Okay, his live well is blue. Now, here's a cool thing. Nick doesn't do a lot of live bait fishing, okay? That's gonna be dry storage for him. That's also gonna be a cooler, because it can be insulated. The other thing is, is the most important thing, is if Nick is off the beach and he's got his trolling motor, full tank of gas, he has his client or two on the bow, 
and they're all spotting fish, okay, you want to make sure that angle is naturally going to go like this. Well, what you can do with this boat, with the big well, is you have a ballast. You fill the back of this up, and I don't care how many people you have on the front, you're not taking any water over the bow with you on it. That's why in that application we have a big well. Also, when you're off the beach, it improves the stability. So if you're running for cobia and stuff like that, and you're cruising in the 30s, it's nice to know you have that because it does make a difference. We just got done doing demos down in the Keys. Guess what, guys? We have the boat for you now. So let's talk about the Evo real quick. Vantage is the big mamma jamma, always will be. Nothing will outdo a Vantage. It is a flats boat with hybrid appeal. It has that skiff and that flats conversion going on, but it's a big water boat and it's also a big boat. Then the next model down is the Fury. It's a great boat, minimal dead rise though. It's great for Mosquito Lagoon, Just Flamingo, and areas like that that's gonna cross open water every now and then. But we didn't have anything for Key West. We didn't have anything for Biscayne Bay, where it's a lot of open water, and they don't fish all the time in four inches. So they needed a boat that could do everything. So here it is, a pullable big water boat with a small footprint with a really good design and layout. 90 Suzuki, he designed his polling platform, he also has in the back the structure scan on it so he can read the bottom and know where he's going. Let's talk about his speeds real life. Lightly loaded, high 40s, low 50s. Heavily loaded, low 40s. This is a great vessel. So for all you captains out there, for all you fly guys, for all you tournament guys, we have you covered. East Cape Evo. You'll see pictures and video of this real soon. You guys take care. See ya. Thank you, Nick Sasek. If you want to see this boat and see how it performs, Contact Greg Dini. Contact Nick Sasek. We have a growing list of captains coming on board with this boat. Thank you, everybody involved, and thank you for everybody watching. Y'all take care. See ya.